Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the new polling and Q&A features in Google Meet. In the newest update to Google Meet, Google has added both live polling and a Q&A functionality that will help video conferencing become more efficient for both education and businesses. So let's first look at live polling. As the moderator, you have the ability to send out polls that are sent to everybody in your Google Meet. So first click on start a poll, and then you can type any question. So let's just write, are you excited for live polls? And then you can add in as many options as you'd like. You can click for more options. And then you can save that and launch it whenever you're ready, or you could have just hit launch. Uh, you also have the ability to decide whether you want everybody else to see the live results. So let's just click on this so that I can show you what it looks like. And now we'll click launch. And again, you can create as many polls as you'd like. Um, and now let me show you what that looks like from the user side. So you'll see here that I've got a notification that there is a new poll and you see I've got like the green dot there. When I click on polls, I have the question, are you excited for live polls? I'll click yes and select vote and you'll see that it will change right there. Now I'm also logged in on another account. So let me vote there and just so you can see how it looks. So I voted yes on another account as well and you'll see that it's updated. Now let's return to my host screen. So as the host, I can see everybody's results. And then when I'm done, I can click end poll. And after the meeting, the moderators will also automatically receive an email, which contains an export of the poll data in Google Sheets. Now to open the Q&A, all the moderator has to do is click where it says Q&A, and it says people in the meeting can post questions. And you can turn this on when you're ready. Now you as the moderator can ask a question or you can allow all the participants to ask questions as well. So to ask a question, I can say, are you excited for Q and A? And then I can hit enter or hit post. And then as the moderator, I have options when people post things to mark as hidden, mark as answered. I can delete questions and I can also upvote them. Now let me show you what this looks like from a participant standpoint. So for the participants, when they go to Q&A, they'll see my question and you notice that they don't have the option that the host or moderator has. They can also ask a question. So once their question is typed, they can either hit enter or post and that will also add a question in there. And again, other participants can upvote the questions that they might also have. And as the moderator or host, this will give you an idea of the questions that people have because if you see something that's upvoted, that means that a lot of people in your class or in your meeting if you're in a business have similar questions or want to know the answer to that. And again, you'll see as a host, I can uh, either hide some of these questions, I can mark them as answered, or I can just delete them if I don't want it in there. Uh, so it says remove this question. You'll still be able to see it after the call and then I could remove it if it was something that was inappropriate. And then you'll notice from the participant side, it's been deleted. Now, one of the nice features to the Q&A is that once the meeting is over, the host will automatically receive an email that contains an export of all the submitted questions so that they have the ability to follow up on any unanswered questions. It is really important to note that for the G Suite Enterprise for Education domains, the question submission is actually disabled by default. So if you are in one of those G Suite Enterprise for Education domains, you will need to turn this on. And you'll see as soon as I closed the meeting, I did receive an email from Google that has a link to my questions and my polling results. And this will show you the questions, who they were submitted by, how many upvotes, whether the moderator marked that as answered, hidden, uh, cleared, or deleted. And then you'll see the polling results show the user's name, and how they answered on the polls. So this will give teachers specifically very valuable feedback um, for doing some assessments on the fly. 
or if you're using this in a business setting, it could give you valuable information that you might need about the people who are in your video conference. The live poll and Q&A will receive a gradual rollout, which could take up to 15 days, beginning on October 8th, 2020. And these will be available to users that have the G Suite Essentials, G Suite Business, G Suite Enterprise, and the G Suite Enterprise for Education customers. As of right now, it won't be available if you have the G Suite Basics, the G Suite for Education, and the G Suite for Nonprofit customers. So these two new features will be very valuable to teachers who are looking to get real-time feedback during their meetings, as well as find out if their students have any questions or get more data about their students that they can use for planning their next lessons. I've included two step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use the live uh, polling and the Q&A, which were written out by Google. I've linked those in the description below. Also in the description, you'll find links to several other Google Meet tutorial videos. If you found this video helpful and know of any teachers that might find it helpful as well, please feel free to share this with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button below and by clicking on that little notification bell next to it so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please consider following me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.